today I'm thinking of replacing uh, glow plugs. Uh, these are the glow plugs right here. It's taking a little bit longer to start. I don't know if, if it's the glow, glow plugs or a fuel filter. This one is a fuel filter right here. I already have fuel filter and glow plugs in stock with me. Mm, I'm just going to start the car. Let you guys know how long does it take to start. Replacing glow plug, uh, you would need 10 millimeter deep socket and a 12 millimeter deep socket and a few extensions in case if you guys need it. But let's see, I haven't, I have not done this before. Maybe I won't need those, but I'm just keeping these in case if I need it. Let's remove the top bus bar. It's right here. It has these plastic uh, nipples, which I have already removed. You guys could see it over here. It looks like these. And so you can just remove it like this and then put it on the side. I was able to remove the bus bus bar I don't know what is it called maybe bus bar or some kind of a metal uh, blade that is connect connecting all the glow plugs and providing ground to glow plugs yeah there is one ground wire which is in the very back so. don't forget to remove that ground wire that's the wire i had to remove that i removed from glow plug no let's start removing glow glow plugs one by one this is a new glow plug uh, this is the one that i just took out of the car it uh, looks fairly new to me but i i'm gonna check them with a testimeter multimeter this is a part number for the glow plug I'm having a little bit difficulty of removing the middle glow plug. This one, I don't really want to force it too hard because it, it can snap in half and then it's gonna be very hard to remove it. So I may end up removing the intake, air intake from it. In the meantime, I can also probably do the valve cover gasket. Just stay tuned. I'm gonna update you guys what I'm end up doing. Well, what I found out that this glow plug is completely, I don't know if it's dead or something wrong with my multimeter. When I put the probes on it, it doesn't move any number. But when I put probes on these, this glow plug, it start uh, showing me numbers. So maybe this one is dead. It looks in a very good condition but maybe it's that i don't have the owner's manual right now about what resistance it need to have 
but uh, I think and this multimeter is kind of uh, not very accurate also so when I, when I put the probes on this one it doesn't show me anything and this is a new one so, one glow plug replaced for five more to go this is the one that i replaced so once i take this one out then i'm gonna replace it with a new one instead of waiting for all of them uh, i may remove this uh, air intake which is not very hard to remove but a little bit lengthy process not too lengthy but let's see how it goes okay i removed uh four glow plugs so far i mean five the one under intake is uh, i'm still figuring it out uh, one piece of advice when you guys are removing the glow plugs uh, remove the top nut before you remove or install the glow plug otherwise this top nut is gonna get stuck into the socket uh, so it's good to remove the top nut before installing or removing the glow plug this is uh these are the glow plugs some of this has some kind of white residue i don't know if it's from water or something okay let's remove the air intake air intake removal is pretty easy this this engine is very easy to work on there are no computers it has lots of space in the engine bay what you gotta do is to loosen up this nut and then take this thing out of the accelerator which is sitting in there and then you pull it up and take it out remove this accelerator cable and then there are 12 millimeter bolt one here not this one you don't need to remove this one just remove this one this one and the one on the other side exactly like this three bolts 12 millimeter and uh, one bolt right here and this uh, air i mean rubber duck now let's do it Okay, I removed uh, these three bolts with a 12 millimeter socket and three inch extension. Otherwise that uh, driver is gonna hit this ratcheting driver. And I removed this one with the help of uh, 12 millimeter. Now I'm gonna just unplug these and uh, that's it. Let's do it. This is how it looks like after removal. Uh, Toyota recommend to replace this gasket. There's a gasket over here. And I don't have gasket in stock, so I'm gonna just use the old one. Now all the glow plugs are replaced. I'm gonna put that uh, metal blade on top of it and uh, button it up since we are here so might as well remove the and replace valve cover gasket also I already have the part with me so let's take care of that too okay I replaced the glow plugs this is how it looks like after installation now let's remove the valve cover valve cover is uh, bolted by uh, eight bolts on one side six bolts on the other side on this side it has six bolts and two nuts 
one right here and one at very far over there far end right there so both of sides has like eight fasteners but one has eight bolts the other one has six bolts plus two nuts let's do it and it's size 10 this is size 10 very easy to remove this is how it looks like after removal of uh, valve cover uh, this is the valve cover right here um, my battery is running very low and it's a very easy job as long as you guys know how to remove it installing it back is easier than removing i'm gonna share the part number for valve cover gasket in case you guys need to buy it all right i replaced the gasket for the valve cover this is the part number that's the old gasket i button up all the things now it's the moment of truth let's see how it starts it used to take a couple seconds more to start i wonder if it was I wonder if it's uh, glow plugs or fuel filter or something else. So let's test it right now. Oh, it's my keys. Cranking time improved, but I think I still need to replace the oil filter, fuel filter I mean. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, see you in another one. Bye.